good Scorpio gang welcome back to Scorpio Chronicles I'm Ari at inspired by Ari on Instagram please go over there and follow me flood my shit um if you like this video at the end please like comment share subscribe to my channel all that good stuff um Scorpio it's Scorpio season happy birthday to my October 7 Scorpios my birthday was October 29th that's why I've been MIA um just trying to get my life together Today is basically all about a wellness check. I really want to check on my Scorpio babies. I want to make sure you guys are all right. Um, I went away to Miami for my birthday, but the day that I left, which was October 27th, there was a new moon in Scorpio. So that really brought me a lot of um, aha moments, a lot of moments of clarity, a lot of moments of reevaluating my life of where I've been this past year, where I want to be. Is my life where I want it to be right now? If not, how can I get it to the place where I need it to be? So yeah, we had that. And then now Mercury is fully in retrograde in the sign of Scorpio and the Scorpio season. So I know you guys are feeling that. I know you guys are really just either you're in hermit mode, like you're not really messing with anybody, you're not really taking calls, you're not really going out as much as you usually do, or you're just trying to avoid conflict at this time, rightfully so, because if you survived all the other retrograde seasons or if you haven't learned anything from the previous ones, basically retrogrades bring a lot of drama they also bring your exes up so a lot of your exes are probably calling you or they're going to be calling you this week or whatever mine already started and i'm just not here for it but yeah so basically today is all about a wellness check i want to make sure you guys are good i want to give you some things to look out for um if you feel like you've been experiencing any of these symptoms or synchronicities please put it in the comment section below or follow me on instagram dm me whatever um, a lot of people actually in my own personal life have been coming to me. I don't know if it's because other signs are definitely feeling the effects of Scorpio season. So as Scorpios, you know, we tend to go through this rebirth, death, regenerative process constantly. We're constantly evolving ourselves. We're constantly trying to improve ourselves and make ourselves better. Um, I know my voice sounds kind of crazy. My allergies are acting up and it didn't help that I went to Miami and it was tropical and then I came back to New York and it was full bone full, but whatever. I digress. So um, yeah, a lot of the things that you're going to be realizing is a lot of things that maybe you thought you were kind of over already or you already thought about it or you already moved on from a lot of the old things or feelings or thoughts or belief systems are going to start resurfacing um it is going to have a little toll on you my best advice is to stay strong allow whatever thoughts feelings and emotions to come over you because it's there to bring a certain level of awareness to you maybe there was a last bit of a lesson that you need to learn so it's going to come up now also be mindful because it's retrograde and there's so many crazy planetary alignments going on that the universe is literally testing us all scorpio gang please refrain from going back to your exes please i'm telling you they're only here to get closure that's it and universe is really testing you by sending your exes in a way i know a lot of you have been experiencing your exes almost everyone even non-scorpios retrogrades bring up old things from the past your exes are of the past so that's the only reason why i'm emphasizing that but aside from that stay out of conflict stay out of drama there's going to be people testing you because emotions are high you know that we usually tend to be in our shadow side majority of the time where we just kind of tune ourselves out from the world and we just do our own thing until we figure out what's our next move as scorpios we're very calculated Right now, you may be experiencing a lot of fatigue. Um, if you're anything like me, I've actually been oversleeping to compensate for the sleep that I was lacking prior to my birthday. Um, the pre-shadow, new moon, and retrograde period also will have you maybe feeling very sleepy, very irritated, very over-emotional. I know some days I drive to work and I just break down crying. I don't know. Allow these feelings and emotions to come over you. Um, I promise you, it's just let these waves pass because that's exactly what they are it's a wave of emotions it's a ways of clarity let them pass take the lessons that you need to take from them and keep moving forward avoid conflict by all means necessary i don't care who said what who got an attitude the universe is testing you to see how well you can compose yourself how patient you are how diligent you are remember anything anyone tries to do to bring you out of character 
keep in mind they understand that it's scorpio season we are in our season to really receive the blessings that we so deserve that we worked hard for all the things we've been manifesting and we're gonna do it if you haven't seen my last two posts prior to this one i told you our season was coming up and we need to get out of our own way um you may be going through your final death phase or death process scorpios whatever we've gone through this year bro sis we've already experienced the worst the worst of it so whatever's coming up now just allow it to come and go with the flow i'm gonna briefly talk about taurus new moon because i didn't even know this was a thing until i saw somebody post it and then i did like a quick google search okay and um yeah so basically taurus are a fixed sign in nature um, if you're a cross watcher or whatever, or you know Taurus, you know they're very slow to move. Very playful, very agile individuals, but they're slow to move. So this Taurus and New Moon that's coming up on November 12th is really here to serve the purpose of making us realize within ourselves what is it that actually brings us joy, what brings us peace, and then we're going to take our time to attain it. So, yeah. I think I'm going to do a whole nother video, but I just wanted to do a quick wellness check. Remember, stay focused. Try to eat well. Try to get as much rest as possible. Um, if you're feeling like a over an engulfment of emotions, I strongly recommend. I strongly recommend that you journal. Um, also, kind of off topic. Oh, somebody's here. Anyways, I'll carry up in my next video. Peace.